hello everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel welcome to today's video and yeah let's get started so today we're going to be talking about some samples that i ordered from lucky sense and if you want to hear my thoughts on them then please continue to watch all right so i have eight samples that i ordered and Y'all know I have mentioned several times that I do not like a dabber. I don't like a rollerball, but a rollerball with oil is fine, but not a fragrance for me. I'm a sprayer. I like to spray. And this is what I did. I know I put them in sprayers. And the next time I think I will order like three mil, three mil. This is, I think if I'm not mistaken, like a five mil. And so it's definitely um, too large for these little small samples that you get from these companies, which, you know, hey, it's cool. They're, you're just wanting to like see what it's about. So, but for me, I like to spray. So I transfer them all into sprayers and we're gonna talk about it. And for some of them, I wrote down what I thought they were, eight out of, I mean like um, whatever, 10 being the highest and some of them I didn't. So maybe after doing the ones that I didn't rate that I could rate them in this video, all right? So let's go, let's get started with Initio Parfum, which is Narcotic Delight. If you can see that, if you can see that, mm, let's see. Uh oh, don't spill my little drink back here. So there you can see Narcotic Delight. And let me sit this over here, honey, because I don't feel like cleaning up no mess. I'll just sit that right there. All right. So the notes in this is cherry. Pink pepper, black pepper, cognac, hedion, rose, and as a base, you have tobacco, vanilla, tonka, um, cedar, and patchouli. So, I'm just going to spray these on, God, and y'all pray that <laughs> I don't start coughing. Lord have mercy, because y'all know how it is, and if you all hear anything that's my fan. It's running on low because your girl be hot, okay? And uh, yeah. So this is Narcotic Delight. And my initial thoughts on this was, yes, this is definitely boozy. You could definitely, it, it smells dark. And, but it's nice though. Would I purchase this? Probably not. It's not a fragrance that, you know, it's just... It's not bad, but I don't think that I would wear a lot of this if I had it. You know, it would be just something, you know, every now and then. And for the price point for an initial fragrance, no ma'am. So I've heard a lot of good things. And y'all, this is good. This is good. This is good. It smells really good. I think it's gotten you know since because i've had these for about two weeks and i think it's gotten better i oh wow i cannot smell the cherry in this and you all know for a lot of times cherry is very prominent in a fragrance but i don't know i don't know whenever i did spray these my my rating was a eight out of ten But, mm. yeah, so that is Narcotic Delight by Inicio, and it is very nice. It's very nice, y'all. I like it. All right, so my next one is, let me find it, because I just have these laid out on here, y'all. Um, the next one is Rosendo Mataz number eight. And so you all know that um, I didn't know anything about Rosendo Mataz 
until I got the um, Ish Al Ish Al Shook. I think that's the name of it. And yeah, so, but this is number eight. And when I was on Lucky Sense and I saw that this was up there, I think I saw a video about it or whatever. And yeah, so I was like, I want this. I want to see what it's like. And this one, y'all, my rating down here was 10 out of 10. So in here, you have apple, pear, pineapple, citrus notes. Then you have amber, patchouli, cinnamon, iris, and Bulgarian rose. And at the base, you have guyac wood, vetiver, cedar, and vanilla. And I think, I, if I can remember correctly, when I put this, I wore this to bed one night. And I just had it like right here. And it was like, as it, as it dried down, I could just remember like just having my hand just up to my nose as I slept until I fell asleep. This is so good. It smells so much. I can, I can smell the apple in here. It is, and a little bit of the cinnamon, I think. I can't smell the rose, but this is nice. This I put on my wish list because I want this. I want this. So this is very nice. And again, that is Rosendo Mata number eight. I have seven of these and I don't want to make them so long. So I just want to hurry on. Okay. And the next one is Blanche Bet by Liquids Imagineers. And this one, y'all, this was, this was kind of like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. So in here, the notes are milk and bread and mystical. What? Is, what? So anyway, then you have two rose jasmine, incense, and mahonio. And at the base, you have vanilla, musk, cacao, and tonka bean. So... Initially, when I saw Tonka Bean, Tonka Bean, I'm just like, I'm going to love this. But there's something about this, y'all. There's something, there's something about it. You ever smelt a fragrance? There's something about it that keeps drawing you in, but then it keeps drawing you back. Then you keep pulling away from it. This is what this is. Because there's definitely something about this that smells so good. Oh, wow. Y'all, I rated this a 7 out of 10. And like right now, this thing smells so good. See, I think they just had to come out. They, they had to sit a little while, come out of those little, those little tiny, little whatever you call them, what, what are you, dabbers that they're in. And they need to get into a sprayer, honey. This smells good. This smells good. I might have to change that rating to at least a nine. Might not be a 10 out of 10, but it's a nine. This is nice. It's different. There's nothing in my collection that smells like this. Wow. It's tuberose in here. White florals and jasmine. Y'all, they've got this blended so well. This is good. This is good. It does not smell. I've heard some people say that it smells old. This does not smell. This doesn't smell mature to me. It just smells really good. Oh, wow. And you see how fragrances can change. Wow. I like this. This might have to go on the wish list too, y'all. All right, now let's find La Capital by Zerjoff. And yeah, so this is, and y'all see how much, and I only sprayed like one, so it's in the nozzle, right? Y'all see how much like it's in this little thing, but that's okay. I want to spray and I don't want to dab. First of all, 
when you dab, it's like it runs all down. I don't think it, I don't think you get the true, like, feeling of the fragrance once you dab it on. That's just me, but honey, when you spray it, that like gives it a chance to like absorb into your skin and you know, a right, wider range. I just don't like those dabbers, I don't. But anyway, let's get into La Capital. And you have fresh strawberry, pre peach, caramel, and labdomum. Um, Iranian saffron, ginger, rose, and amber. Then you have oud, vanilla bourbon, and benzoin. Now, this right here, I rated it a nine out of 10. I like this. I like this. I like this. This is so good. Oh my, it's just like a burst. It really is like a burst of freshness, fruits, and it smells really good. And now it's starting, that burst is gone now on the paper. And I can smell the rose in here and maybe a little bit of the saffron. Oh, this is good. I don't smell any strawberry. Ooh, this is, it's sweet and it's good. I think it would do well in um, the warmer weather. Hmm. Y'all, that's good. That's good. That's good. And like I said, I rated it a 9 out of 10. So, yeah, that was good. Now, this is BDK's Passe Soir. This one, I think I had like a question mark by. But let's talk about the notes first. And in here, you have pear, ginger. This has a lot of notes, y'all. So, at the top, you have pear, ginger, mandarin orange, cacao pod, and black pepper. And then you have quince, peach, Moroccan jasmine, orange blossom. And at the base you have Indonesian patchouli leaf, cash cashmerian benzoid, ambroxan, and vanilla. And this is one, if I can remember correctly, that I had a, like, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Yeah, and it's still the same way. I don't know about this. And, and I can smell the pepper, so it is a little spicy. And this is the straight version. This is the straight version. So it's just kind of like, mm, just a little like, mm, yeah, mm -mm. I definitely wouldn't be interested in getting getting passe soir so that would be a pass on that one the next one is guava sorbet so let's find that and yeah so this is by brant guava sorbet and the notes are guava passion fruit grapefruit bergamot and mandarin so right off the top of that i just think about warm weather springtime summertime and then sugar sugar guava osmanthus and jasmine and then you have sandalwood vanilla musk and amber all right but i don't think this is bad i did not rate it but um i think this is just okay yeah i don't know if that is the I don't know what whatever that is at the top, one of those fruits at the top, the passion fruit, the guava, or the grapefruit that I'm just not really feeling, but it's not a bad fragrance. It's not a bad fragrance, but I know that this would be one that I would not reach for. I just wouldn't. But I've heard, I've heard some things about it when I saw it on the site. I said I wanted to try it. So that is guava sorbet. And if I had to rate this, because I didn't rate it here, 
if I had to rate it for me, it would just be like a six out of 10. Not really anything that really, you know, like, um, like wowed me. It does not wow me at all. So, yeah. And then, so that was a six. So I have two left. The ones that I did want a sample of would be um, Bianco Latte and Dama Bianca. Because you all know that I have the dupes for those fragrances, Eclair and um, this one right here, uh, Janoon Noir. And that is a dupe for um, Dama Bianca by Zerjoff. So I did get these and y'all, I must say, to my nose, y'all, these things are spot on. These are spot, I don't even have to spray them. They smell just like those fragrances back there. Now they may, they, there may be some small nuances that you know other people can pick up on but to me and just getting really into fragrances like that and you know the notes and different things and what you can tell and this that and the third y'all I don't pick it up I don't pick it up but because these are so because I do love these I'm gonna spray these on my skin the fragrance that I have on today is um is Chaco Musk. I have the oil and the um, the spray, the fragrance. And when I went out today, someone said, is that vanilla? Mm-hmm. Smells so good. So it's definitely, it projects. It definitely works. Um, and I love it. And it's the fall now. And yeah, that's where that really shines to me. So this is... Dama Bianca by Zerjov. And yeah, it smells just like Janoon Noir. Just like it to me. Oh, Lord, yes. <laughs> Y'all know I love that fragrance. Yes. Oh, that smells so good. That smells so good. This and I just wanted I just wanted it to compare, you know, because they were saying, you know, the girlies, the ladies, you know, in comparison that it was really, really close. And so I just wanted to smell them. And so the next one is the Bianco Latte. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I don't want to spray too much of these, y'all, because there might be a time where I want to wear this. And this is definitely, when you get these little, um... These and I think they were like five bucks a piece, if I'm not mistaken, something like that. This is Eclair all day, Eclair, and 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 it is Caramel Cascade too, because y'all and I'm gonna do a video on that maybe, I don't know, but I tried Caramel Cascade the other day because I don't even reach for it right now that I have Eclair, and I sprayed that on and honestly, y'all, don't get mad at me, don't get mad at me, okay. I'm just saying what my nose and what I felt. I felt like that was better than Eclair. I know. I know. Because y'all know when I first got there, I could smell nothing. I could smell no caramel. I could smell nothing. I let it sit. And y'all know that thing is a banger. It really is. No lie. I have no reason. It just, when I, I was so surprised. Hmm. But this right here, ooh, yes, yes. So, y'all, to me, I mean, you know, I heard something and I totally agree. To each their own, but it's not that deep. It's not that deep. It's not that serious. It's just flavored. And I don't want to say just because some people take their fragrances serious, honey. And so I don't want to say just but it's flavored water. It's flavored liquid. It's, it's, you know, so to me, I may want a nice bottle of something, just like I wanted the Baccarat. And yes, I've had dupes for it, but, whew, and I may get another one, 
because I don't want to keep spraying mine. I thank God for the dupes. Y'all, y'all thank God for I thank God. Thank you, God, for the dupes. Because all I want to do is smell good. That's it. That's it. I just want to smell good. All right. So that is it. Those are my samples that I purchased once again from Lucky Scents. And rating these last two, y'all already know they're 10 out of 10, honey. Highly recommend 10 out of 10. Y'all know I don't do no recommendations because, baby, y'all probably already have Bianca Latte and Dama Bianca. But, um, yeah, those are good. Smells just like the dupes, in my opinion, and to my nose. Yeah. Mm. So good. So good. So, thank you all for hanging out with me. I'm going to end the video here and that is it and if you like what you've seen in this video please consider subscribing please and if you do like hit that like button it helps my channel out and after all you all are watching i know i do i watch i love a lot of the things that i see on youtube and yes i hit that like button i subscribe so if you find any value or if you like anything that you have seen on today please consider subscribing. I love you all so much. Thank you for clicking on the thumbnail. Thank you so much for all of you do, all of my new subscribers and everyone that continues to come back. I just want you to know you're the real VIP. Okay. VIP, MVP, all the P's. All right. All right. So until the next video, I love you. You all take care. Bye y'all.